Time to show these boys how we do it. <laughs> Flying in an F-16 is like your skin being pulled back, your eyeballs kind of like coming out of their sockets and everything just like raising up. It's like, you know, when you, you have a real great sense of something and your, your hair stand up. Yes. That's kind of the sense that you get when you're in the chair. <laughs> um, so to have that exper experience and then bring it back to set and being in the simulator and going, I don't know how to fly a jet. This is, this is easy, I did this last week. It's pretty fantastic. I'm Sara from CBC Kids News. I'm one of the kid contributors. I'm 14 years old. Um, <laughs> yes, and you're owning it. I love oh, it. Thank you. Uh, please introduce yourself, where you're from, who you play in Captain Marvel. Sure, I'm Lashana Lynch. I play Maria Rambo in Captain Marvel. And um, I'm from London. Represent. Represent. My dad is too. Really? Yeah. Oh, amazing. And my British passport. Yes. Okay, girl. <laughs> 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 All right. So, can you tell us a little about a little bit about Maria Rambo and her relationship with Captain Marvel? Uh, Maria is. She's just incredible as a human being. She's a really good friend first and foremost. Um, she really moves from a place of understanding. Um, her and Carol grew up in the military mm. and they trained together, created a bond and then when that bond was broken, when Carol disappeared, she kind of felt like a part of herself was gone as well. So then when she re-entered her, her life, it's like, you know when you haven't seen your friend in like yeah. a day and you're like, I can't <laughs> live without you, never leave you again. That's kind of what it felt like. Mm. Um, and it felt like that with Brie as well. Whenever we'd have like a day off, it felt like, oh my gosh, we don't get to connect. So we'd have like these big embraces and we get back and yeah, we were able to inject that into the character. Right. So true sisterhood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, now, March 8th is International Women's Day. To me, one of the, the most notable days of the year. Yeah. Um, and Captain Marvel is being released on International Women's Day uh, on Friday. So was this a coincidence? Coincidence? Was it planned? Um, is it important to you that it's being released on this day? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the perfect day yeah. to <laughs> release a movie like this, don't you think? Um, it, it, this is such a good celebration of women and young girls as well. We just get to watch ourselves having fun on screen and taking over the world, which doesn't always happen. Right. So now that it is happening, it's nice to universally kind of have that experience together all in one go and just celebrate the movie, celebrate each other, celebrate where we're going as women. Yes, celebrating all the women. Yes. <laughs> now, your castmate, Brie Larson, who of course plays Captain Marvel, uh, in a previous interview said that if there was a Captain Marvel 2, her dream uh, would be to fight alongside Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. Um, yes. How do you feel about this? Would you be excited about this? I've been wanting that. Oh, I've yes. been wanting that. When she said that, I was like, yes. <laughs> the words out my mouth. Yeah, there's, there's so many that could come together and make like a big, like, girl squad yes um, but she should definitely be the full like forefront. Taylor Swift's girl squad exactly right? exactly yeah. like that so there'll be her there'll be like us two kind of there like doing our thing as well there'll be Monica Rambo awesome. Shuri should be in there yes. as the scientist that she is Love do you know what I mean there. there's another one called Susie Endo who's um, Japanese I believe and she's uses her brain as her power as well I think all of them together would make the perfect movie yeah should we just create it yes Let's yeah. do that. I'll be Kamala Khan. Sure. Yeah. You'd be perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, um, why do you think it's so important that Marvel has created a movie that's not only uh, that not only has females at the forefront of the movie uh, on screen, but also behind the camera? What message does that send across to young girls my age? It's nice to have conversations with our girlfriends and connect and all of that, but if we're not seeing it on screen, then we just don't feel like we're represented. So in order to celebrate that, we need to keep having conversations that are gonna lead us to this point where we always have these movies. This is really a special moment for us in celebrating this, but we want it to be to the point where like, we don't really have to talk about it anymore. And we're just like, yeah. oh, there's 10 movies out this year that are fronted by a female superhero. Do you know what I mean? Right. I didn't have that when I was a kid. And it's nice that a lot of the younger generations now are gonna get to experience that. Their mentality is gonna be completely different. They're gonna grow up very literally knowing that they can take over the world. They'll probably be able to do what Captain Marvel can do <laughs> in 10 years from now. I can't wait. I know. I'd love to have I hands know. like that. I know, I know. So awesome. I know. <laughs>